Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and I'm back with another video and today I'm here on the Pixelmon server So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing I want to go over is the winner of the random shiny The winner is actually King Ark Knight. So next time you get on the server I will get you that random shiny egg now if you guys want a chance to win a random shiny make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and comment down below um sometimes I say things later in the video that you need to include in your comment and so only people that actually watch the videos will have a chance at winning because these are really for people that enjoy the channel as well as the server so um yeah if you're just coming here to comment it doesn't really work out every time um yeah so like three or four people won last time but they didn't include what I said in the comment, so they didn't get it. Um, but yeah, King Ark Knight, you'll get your random shiny. And if you guys want a chance at winning one, make sure you guys go ahead and do what I said. <laughs> so yeah, um, one thing, since the last episode, I've gone ahead and I actually hatched another Ghastly. Not the best stats in the world. I realized that I actually... I didn't have my Destiny not on this Ghastly for some reason. So I went ahead and I put it back on. And now they are breeding once again, so we should get an egg pretty soon here. But yeah, let's go ahead and actually battle this, if we can, this Mighty Anna here. Um, Heat Wave should one shot. There we go. I don't know if we got experience from that. That bug is still really bothering me. Um, there are a couple more Pokemon over here. There's not too many players online right now, so spawns per player seem to be pretty good. I, I don't know how spawns work, honestly. Not gonna lie to you guys, I have no idea. It seems completely random. Like, sometimes there'll be, like, 15 people on, and there'll be, like, 10,000 Pokemon, and then there'll be, like, 15 people on later, and there'll be no Pokemon in the whole world. So, yeah, I don't know. But pretty easy for levels right now. We ran out of Heat Wave PP. <laughs> PP. Wow. I am very immature. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and actually I really want to evolve my Scyther into a Scizor, but in order to do that we're going to need a metal coat and then trade it with another player while holding the metal coat. Um, while our Scyther is holding the metal coat. So in order to make a metal coat, I'm pretty sure you need iron as well as aluminum. Now we don't have enough aluminum by the looks of it. And that's kind of a problem because we're going to need four and we only have one. Well, time to let's see if slash RTP can help us out here. Oh, nope, not going to help us out. This is the first time I've ever not been in a cave when I did slash RTP. So I'm going to go ahead and start digging around underground and see if I can go ahead and find myself some more aluminum. And then we should be good to go with crafting one of these metal coats all right guys so i actually just dug straight down from over here and i hit bedrock so i went ahead and i was thinking maybe uh aluminum or bauxite doesn't spawn all the way at bedrock so i started pillaring up and then i was just going to go straight for as long as i could i kept finding a bunch of redstone but then i kept mining here and there was actually a diamond sitting right here with another diamond behind it so there we go a few more diamonds to add to our collection. We don't really even need them. We haven't used our old diamonds, but it's pretty cool to find diamonds still when you're just mining around in Minecraft. But yeah, so I'm going to keep just mining in a straight line here um, and try to find some bauxite. I found a load of redstone, some amethyst, some silicon, uh, a couple iron, and diamonds now, but still no bauxite. So I guess we'll just have to see. Oh, great, more redstone. Alright guys, so I've actually found just about everything except for Bauxite. I found Iron, Redstone, Amethyst, Sapphire, Diamonds, Firestone Shards, Gold, Silicon, um, and no, no Bauxite or uh, Aluminum at all. So I'm going to go ahead and actually see if another player has three Bauxite and I can go ahead and trade them, maybe even a couple of these Diamonds because I don't really need Diamonds but I do need aluminum. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be back once I've gone ahead and acquired the aluminum. Alrighty, so I went ahead and TP to someone, and here we go. Give them a couple diamonds, and they're going to give me three aluminum, which is actually, okay, they're giving me more than three. Um, all right, cool, thank you, thank you. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead, nope. And actually, I have to hammer these down into the uh, aluminum plates or whatever they're called. Um, let me see what they're actually called. 
and then they are called yeah just aluminum plates now we need four of these we need four iron ingots and then we need um an iron block and i think that's really all so should be good to go after that now i'm not sure if like you're supposed to level up scyther at any specific level due to like moves he learns but we do have a move relearner on the server so that isn't really a big deal we can pretty much teach him any move that he learned through leveling up um so let's go ahead and get an iron block place that in the middle and i think it's just like this with the plates in these slots oh maybe it's like this if this doesn't work i okay i okay there we go and there we go all right we got the metal coat so let's go ahead and get a player to go ahead and trade us the scyther so we can evolve it and check out our shiny scissor all right there we go guys so i went ahead and traded with uh, directions and now he is evolving so we're gonna have a shiny scissor on our team probably not gonna use him unless we level him up quite a bit but it is still pretty cool to actually have one um so yeah there he is all right i think he's like this really ugly green color yeah definitely um the user relaxes and lightens its body so sharply boosts its speed stat um not really interested in that for a scissor so the way scyther and scissor work is actually when you evolve from a scyther you lose 40 speed points so your 40 stats like every stat has a base stat it's kind of confusing i don't even know what i'm doing trying to explain it um every stat has a base stat and so say scissor had or scyther has like one 100 speed i think um scissor actually only has 60 speed but scissor has 20 more points in attack and 20 more points in defense so a little bit more powerful in the attack and staying alive sort of things but he does have a lot slower movement speed so you're not really going to be getting those first hits um but actually, our Scyther is brave and has really bad speed IV, so that doesn't even really matter all that much. We were never going to get first hit anyways. Um, so he actually might be a pretty decent scissor to use on a team. I don't know, though. I probably won't use him, but let's go ahead and check him out. I haven't actually thrown him out yet. Okay, you just got to show me up with your shiny ho-ho. Okay. Um, The shadows are a little bit weird on that guy. Maybe just because of his size? I don't know, but he's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I think I actually like the red better, <laughs> honestly, the non-shiny. But let's go ahead and trade out our Kingdra. And I actually want to go ahead and um, head over to Warp Gems. Now, I don't think I've shown this in a video. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Actually, let's go clean out our inventory first. We have way too much junk in our inventory. Let me go slash home, home, if I can learn how to type. And head in here, and I'm not even going to really bother about organizing it all that much. Just kind of chuck it in my chest. Oh, don't want cobblestone in this one. Kind of organizing it. Um, we'll just fill up the rest of this stuff in any chest that it will fit in. We are running out of space. Don't want stuff in there. I have, I have this chest and this chest that are slightly organized, and the rest is just a mess. Oh, this one's kind of organized. Um, but yeah, so warp gems, and let's go ahead and just challenge one gem today. So probably going to do one of these per episode. Oh, I'm stuck in a block. Um, one of these per episode, they're not real gems. They're really just one NBC, no different than like slash warp castle. About the same as that. Um, you don't really get a badge. You don't get really anything from them apart from you can battle them. You can battle each one once per day and get $250 per NBC. So if you beat all eight gems every day then you can get uh, $2,000 a day, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into this. This is the Grass Gym Leader. So we're going to start off here and probably go to Rock. And then there is uh, Ice, Psychic, Electric, Flying, Water, and Fighting is way down at the end. So those are the eight different gyms that are on the server currently. Like I said, not really gyms, just one NPC that you can just battle every 24 hours. Um, but yeah, let's get right into this. I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with Volcarona and see if I can wipe his whole team. Because honestly, right now, I feel like we probably can. They're going to match your highest level Pokemon. So I probably should have been a little bit more careful with this and taking out Tyranitar. Um, since I'm planning on wiping with Volcarona. But we will just have to risk it and hope that we can win. Alright, one-shot him. We might just one-shot the whole team. Okay, not going to one-shot the whole team. And we got one-shot. That sucks so much. Oh, man. Uh, earthquake. Take out Laleep. 
And he's a Breloom, which we can easily take out with an Earth... Oh, jeez, he used Mach Punch. Why does he gotta have an overpowered Breloom? Um, Alright, let's see. We're probably gonna get one shot here as well. Yep, one shot. Oh gosh, we're gonna lose. Earthquake, and one shot. Oh my gosh, Breloom, why you gotta be so OP? Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to actually go ahead and take out our Tyranitar from our team for future gems, just because it does seem to be a little bit painful when they're level 94 and we're only level 60. Um, so yeah, we're gonna faint, and I think this Breloom just wiped our whole team. Now, we did kill the Breloom, but probably gonna get taken out here. Um... Super effective, barely did anything, and he one-shot us. All right, um, so yeah, that's kind of going to be the plan. Go ahead and remove our Tyranitar, because having Tyranitar, he is powerful, but having him on our team pretty ma much makes the other five Pokemon on our team entirely useless due to the high level. So I guess we're going to have to replace him until we can get the rest of our team to match his level. So let's go ahead and I might as well just throw him away. Just throw him in there. Um, now Scyther might be kind of cool to replace. The only problem is Scyther is actually, let me pull this up, Steel Bug. And we already have one Bug type here, so I don't know if we want another Bug. Oh wait, no we don't. This is Dark Poison. We don't have any Bug types. So Scyther, uh, this, uh, Scizor might actually be kind of a cool addition to our team. Until we get our correct Ghastly, which even when we get Ghastly, we might replace, like, Golurk or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but for now, um, let's head to, let's go ahead and put our lucky egg on our scissor, and I want to level him up a bit. Um, not really going to be too concerned with Eevees or anything like that just yet. Um, I want to wait till I have like a perfect Pokemon, like maybe when I get my Ghastly, if I can get all 31 IVs, then I'll go ahead and Eevee train him. But for now, I think we're good to just kind of battle whoever. Um, it looks like there are some Pokemon over here. They might be in battle. Yep, he's in battle. So Viper, what level are you? Level 9, and waste of time. Level 37, not too bad. Let's go ahead and switch over to... We can just use a Volcarona for this. And use a Heat Wave. Take him down. Level 18, not too bad. Let's head home. I feel like there's a lot more high-level Pokemon here. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, keep running around, leveling up. Wait for some Pokemon to spawn in and whatnot. And I will see you guys once I've gained a few levels. Alright, so I've put a couple levels on Scizor, but then I just was walking around and... Whoops, I didn't mean to click R there. Well, now there's a Pokemon ball flying at our face. But these were just kind of sitting here. Like, someone dropped them on my head. So I can only assume it was either Lava or Trinios. I saw him flying around, I think. But it could have been Lava. I have no idea, honestly. Maybe it wasn't. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I have no idea what happened there. They flew off trying to hide it or something. Uh, no, I don't need a metal coat. I already got one. I already crafted one. Um, but I'm just going to throw these in the chest because I have no idea where they came from. And so they're mine now. That's kind of how that works. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't think we have anything to magmarize. That is for magmar, but we don't actually have a magmar. And I don't really want one. So <laughs> that will just stay in our chest until... A later date but I'm gonna go ahead keep leveling up only level 24 we've put I think maybe seven levels on him something like that um not too many so kind of just running around here still battling there's quite a few high level Pokemon pretty easy to one shot if you just switch there we go put another two levels for your e-cutter um its power increases if it hits in succession all right let's just switch out pursuit might as well and we might as well run over here and take on this Arbok. So, yeah, I'm going to keep leveling up, and I will be back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so Trinios told me to head over to this beach down here, Um, and there was one of those little pokey loot things that I showed in one of my previous videos with a Pokemon in it, so it looks like he's giving me a Pichu. Now, I know he's been breeding these guys for quite a while, and it's actually in a a fastball. Is that what that thing is? I don't actually know for sure. But apparently, they're pretty powerful. I wonder what he actually gave me. Now, the nature on it, let's check that out. Um, calm nature. I don't know if that's the uh, uh, Volt Tackle. That's pretty awesome. Wow, that move is... What? 
Are there? I don't think there are very many moves that do 120 power and only take one turn. Um. Anyway, so let's check out the Ivy. See what he's got on this guy. Oh my gosh, what? What is this? Is he really giving me this thing? I know he's been breeding them for like a week and a half, maybe even longer. So he probably has like a dozen of these. But but still, this is a very very powerful Pichu. I wouldn't even know what to do with this. All right, well apparently it's ours. So we have a almost perfect Pichu. It might actually be perfect to be honest. Um, I don't even really know. This might be what you want on it. Um something to do with hidden abilities or something i i don't know i don't know how to breed i don't understand anything but thank you trinios this thing's awesome i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it's awesome all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead grab my rank candy for the day and then i'm probably gonna go ahead and battle rag guy now he's been asking for a battle i know he has a couple level 100 so this might not go very well However, um, we might have a chance, possibly. Um, I want to actually go ahead and make sure I have my Tyranitar on my team for this battle. Um, this is probably the best we're going to get in terms of our team, this setup here. I know we have a couple other Pokemon. We could maybe switch out Smeargle for something. Um, Scizor is only 33, so not really good. Pichu, I might want to do something with. Um, those perfect IVs are very tempting to actually use um yeah I, I have no idea honestly reversal um thunder wave thunder shock i i don't even know what's going on here let's check out its uh ability i don't know contact with the pokemon oh so it's kind of how uh, our volcarona actually has one where contact with the pokemon may burn but contact with the Pichu may paralyze the opponent. All right, so we are here. Um, let's go ahead and just, I guess, battle him. He has two level 100, so this probably is just going to be an easy wipe for him, um, seeing as our Pokemon are mostly 40 to, yeah, pretty much 40 levels lower, except for a Tyranitar and a Volcarona. Volcarona. Um, but all right, so you throw first since you have level 100. All right, a Ho-Ho, and he has it named Wispin. That's that's amazing um so who's best against this guy i think we're just gonna go with our tyranitar it might be able to outspeed it um i know we have stone edge which should do a lot of damage to a ho-ho um i think maybe maybe even one shot it there we go yep one shot it and he has a chancy level 24 so this isn't really his other legendary but i think he does have a second legendary trinios and i can't see what it is oh it's his reggie ice um, now a Reggie Ice is probably going to be weak to Rock type as well. Um, Ice, Rock, right? Yeah, I think. Um, unless Reggie Ice is Rock type, I, I don't even really know, honestly. So I'm just going to hit him with the Stone Edge. Super effective, almost knocked him out, but he's probably going to kill us here, I assume. Let's see, what did he actually do? I think he didn't really want to battle to actually battle. I think he wanted to battle just to show off his Pokemon. <laughs> which they are pretty cool he has a shiny ho-ho -ho and a shiny reggie ice now what just happened oh wow oh wow well that's that's what we get for not paying attention to chat oh man okay that's that's great fantastic those hourly auto restarts they'll get you sometimes um well looks like i'm gonna go ahead and actually end this video here i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you next time